When it comes to singing and dancing in Native American culture, it's more than just music. It's about sharing stories of the past. I spoke with one family who has been to many powwows and also recently competed in a talent contest and won. The talent contest was called Natives Got Talent. Harlan Kicking Woman has been dancing since he was 18 months old. And this year, he and his father won first place in the group's contest for Natives Got Talent put on by the All Nations Health Center in Missoula. Dancing and singing isn't just about winning contests, his mother says. Tracy Kicking Woman says it also strengthens the father-son bond. It makes me feel good and it makes me, makes me know and aware that he's growing up the way he should. Their talent also teaches culture. So we keep the Palo Circle in our Palo Circle. We just keep our kids going because they're our future of tomorrow. So it's it's really good to keep your kids involved in that for Native American people. She adds that in pre-pandemic years, summer was spent traveling to different powwows over consecutive weekends, celebrating Native American culture and sharing stories. However, the past two summers were different to allow social distancing and to stay safe from COVID-19. But many continued to share their talent online instead of meeting in person. The video, it was good. It was okay. Like we accepted it. It was just, it was different, but we knew people were watching. But they are ready for the return of in-person celebrations. Probably have more of a meaning and it'll probably be more powerful because from being, being on video and then transition, transitioning back into the power circle, it would probably just be like we never left. As for Harlan Kicking Woman, he says he likes dancing while his father sings because Could it tell you killing that? And his mother says it's through dancing and singing that comes the healing. And also for tomorrow's generation as they learn stories from their ancestors. For MTN News, I'm Phoenix O'Connor.